Hello all, uh, as part of today's session, we will discuss about database logging in Pentaho. So usually when you trigger Pentaho Java transformation, you can extract log into some log files and also you can maintain uh, logging in the database. So let's see by creating one sample transformation and uh, also database logging how it works and then by running the transformation, you will see log details also. Okay. Yeah. Let's go and uh, create a new transformation. I will be using just a data grid. I will take the dummy step over here. Okay, I'll save this. Once you are done with your uh, design, so you can double click on the workspace at anywhere, okay? Just double click here and you will see a, a window open for you and uh, login. go to the tab login. So here if you see transformation, step, performance, login, channel, metrics, multiple tabs available under logging again. So if you see transformation, you can see here log connection, log table, schema, Log, log table name so you can provide connection over here and then you can supply any schema if you would like to and then table name and for the first time if the table is not available you can use the SQL uh, statement it will generate a DDL and it will create a table for you and the column names these are all field names that are, that will be created for you so batch ID would be a unique number every time you run the transformation it will be incremented by one and channel ID, this is a kind of a, uh, UID for you. You can uh, use this. This is also kind of a unique one. And the trans name, the, the name of the transformation you are running and the status. If it is uh, started, then it will show the uh, message start. And if it stopped with any error, then it will be the value stopped. And then if end successfully, then the status would be end. So same way lines read, written, updated. So you have to specify here which step to be captured this particular lines read. You know, right, once the step process completes, you, you can get a step matrix like your lines, number of lines read, written and updated input. So here you can specify any of the step you would like to capture. Okay. The same way you can see the start date, end date, log date, depart uh, date, dependency date and replay date, log field all this you can you can also get the client and where it is running and once you're done with this you can go ahead and uh, see step so this will be like a step matrix so when you're running the transformation I, i'll i'll just try to run this and then show you so when you run the transformation you will capture uh, step matrix right this information you can load into a table okay let me go back to logging by double clicking in the workspace and then go to the step so the same way so you have to provide first the connection name over here and then table name sorry schema name and then followed by table name so for the first time you have to create this so now what i will do i will create 
I will use the existing connection, sorry, sample database, sample data, which is hypersonic, Pentahose uh, built-in uh, database. So the table is not available in my uh, sample data so I will give trans underscore log okay and I will click on the SQL button so once you click here it will generate a DDL statement you can see here all this and then there is an election index also execute yeah completed successfully close so now when you run the transformation since you have provided table name and uh, connections here so it will capture all these details will be captured let me create another table for step matrix also and then i will use the same name with a different table name here i have given trans log here i will give step trans So let me run this so when you run this okay loaded just two records two records from data grid to dummy now we will verify whether that tables tables are presented or not and then what is the data of that okay if you see here let me drag table input I don't have any SQL developer for this so that's why I'm testing over here itself so I will go here, sample it already available. And if you see here, get SQL select statement. Don't use for Oracle, it will get hanged because uh, Oracle will be having many tables, right? This is a simple database with mi very minimal tables. That's why I've used this get SQL select statement. So if you see tables here, trans, I have created with trans log and trans step log I let these tables were not there and I will just open one yeah yeah you see here the batch ID would be zero because it is running from first time and channel ID this is a channel ID a unique ID and then trans name DB logging status ended successfully and if you see I haven't mentioned any of the step to capture this uh, matrix because I have maintained separate table so it will contain the log also if you see at the end it is the log okay if you just copy this and paste it to somewhere it will also have the same type log so same log what you have seen in the transformation when you are executing transformation you will see here in this logging tab this is the log okay and let me query the other table also trans step log okay let me preview this yeah, if you see here 0 0 because there are two steps available okay and the name of the transformation and if you see here lines read written okay because text file is uh, sorry uh, grid written right it, it, there was no input for uh, data grid that's why lines read 0 and a copy 0 so written 2 okay there are no record to update and all all right this is how you can see the step matrix you can capture it to your table all right so this is how you will create a, a deep database logging at the transformation level the same way you will also have the option to create logging at the job level let me try to create a job and then show you how a particular job have settings for this login and same way you can double click over here and here logs so job log table so similarly you can provide database connection schema log table and then for the first time you have to create by using SQL 
and then entry log table also this is another one and logging channel this logging channel captures everything everything means like uh, it will relate from a job to transformation say for example you have transformations available in a job so when you are running it will capture each and every step information with unique id and also there will be a relation from job to transformation because every time when you are run definitely there would there should be a relation uh, for these runs right so the, the, it, it captures all the data okay logging channel log table so this is how you will create database logging in pentaho this is very useful if you would like to maintain any status and if you want to maintain any reconciliation kind of not reconciliation kind of thing if you want to have any kind of uh, uh, yeah reconciliation also step matrix using step matrix you can get the information all right okay this is all for uh, this session uh, hope uh, this session helps you and uh, please do subscribe and uh, i will be posting more videos on pentaho tutorials thank you very much